Happy morning children. How are you all? Yes, you're all fine. That's right. Very good. Okay, fine. In our English class, last class we have completed the poem, The Road Not Taken, right? So, we have completed it fully. And today we're going to enter into a new lesson. Okay. What is the name of the lesson? Yes, that's right. Chapter 70. Matthew Cuthbert is surprised. Matthew Cuthbert is surprised. Okay, so this is the lesson name. And before getting into the lesson, I'll just give you the meanings. We have got so many new words in this lesson. So we'll learn the meanings of those words and we'll see the characters and then we'll see the lesson. Okay, are you all ready? Yes, very good. So here we have got the meanings of few words. First word, dreaded. Dreaded, which means fear. Fear, okay. Second, second word, preparatory. Preparatory, which means prior. Nova Scotia, which means a place in Canada. So Nova Scotia is a place in Canada. Fourth word, concealed hereabouts, which means hidden nearby. Something which is hidden nearby. Fifth word, spared the ordeal. Spare the ordeal, which means relief from the difficult task. Getting relief from the difficult task. Sixth one, dwelling, living. Where do you dwell? So we we'll, it refers to the place we live. Dwelling, living. Map. Map means aptitude or the ability one possesses. And asylum, that is the shelter or a place of refuge. Place of a refuge. Buggy, a horse drawn vehicle. It's a vehicle which is drawn by the horse. Okay, like a cart which is drawn by the bulls. No, it's like we. Buggy means a horse. It's a horse drawn vehicle. A vehicle which is drawn by the horse. And the characters in this lesson are Matthew Cuthbert is the main character, and we have got Marilla and Mrs. Ratchin. Mrs. Alexander Spencer, Marilla is his sister and Mrs. Rachel is his neighbor. We have got Mrs. Alexander Spencer and a little girl. So these are the characters in the lesson. So we are going to see the story. So before that I will just read out the typical words. Dreader, Fear, Preparatory, Prior, Nova Scotia, a place in Canada, Concealed here a box, hidden nearby, Spare the ordeal, relief from the difficult task, dwelling, living, man, aptitude, ability, asylum, shelter or the place of refugee, buggy, a horse drawn vehicle. The characters here are Matthew Cuthbert, Marilla, Mrs. Rachel, Mrs. Alexander Spencer, and a little girl. Okay, children, so. These are the characters in the lesson. So, are you all now interested to get into the lesson now? Yes, I am really eager. Okay, let's get it started. Okay, children, we will explain the lesson now. So, if you take up the story, actually this is a case of mistaken identity. So, if you take a mistaken identity, it can leave anyone confused. Okay, so if you read the story, we will come to know whom Matthew Cubert was expecting and who he found instead. Okay, so, okay. Let, let me read the story and explain you. Matthew Cuthbert and his horse had covered over eight miles when they reached Bright River from Avonlea. He enjoyed the landscape on both sides. So Matthew Cuthbert on his horse, he's traveling and he's covering eight miles when he reached Bright River. And that's from Avonlea. It's a place in US. So he is traveling on his horse and he's reaching Bright River now. And while he travels, he's enjoying the landscape on both the sides. The view of the nature is just enjoying on the both the sides. And Matthew was a tall man with long gray hair that touched his shoulders and had a full brown beard. 
Matthew dreaded all women except his sister Marilla and Mrs. Ratchel, his neighbor. He had an uncomfortable feeling that the mysterious creatures were secretly laughing at them. So here we are getting the description of Matthew Cuthbert. So he was a tall man, okay? So and you describe him. He was a tall man with a long gray hair. So he is having a long gray hair and that touches up to his shoulder okay he is having a long hair up to his shoulder that too in the color of gray and he also had a full brown beard okay and Matthew he has some kind of um, quality which means he is actually afraid of the women okay he doesn't talk to women much except his sister Marilla and his neighbor Mrs. Rachel other than that he doesn't open up with the other women he, he feels uncomfortable okay he had an uncomfortable feeling that the mysterious mysterious creatures were secretly laughing at him so he thought that these people are laughing at him so he is not comfortable with talking women Yes, next what happens? When he reached Bright River, there was no sign of any train. He thought he was too early. So he tied his horse in the yard of the small Bright River Hotel and went over to the station house. The long platform was almost deserted. The only living creature in sight was a girl who was sitting at the extreme end. It looked like she was waiting for someone. So what happened? He now reached the Bright River, right? And he could not see any sign of any train. And then what happened? He thought that it is too early. He has come quite earlier. So he just wanted to tie his horse in the yard of the small bright river hotel and he just walked over to the station in order to check if someone is there or not so when he went there he could see that almost the long platform was deserted which means nobody was there he couldn't find anybody and the only living creature he saw was a little girl who was sitting at the extreme end so there was a little girl who was sitting at the extreme end he was only able to see that girl and it looked like she was waiting for someone so it looked like that girl was waiting for someone and then Matthew saw the station master locking up the ticket office preparatory to going home for supper and asked him if the 5.30 train would soon be along. So Matthew, he suddenly saw the station master. He was locking up the ticket office in order to get ready to go home for supper. So the station master was getting ready to go home for supper. And thus Matthew, he saw him and just went to him and asked him uh, if the 5.30 train would have... Would be, Will it come or not? And the station master, he is answering. The 5.30 train has been in and gone half an hour ago, answered that brisk official. But there was a passenger dropped off for you, a little girl. She is sitting out there on the bench. I asked her to go into the ladies' waiting room, but she informed me that she preferred to stay outside. There was more scope for imagination, she said. She is a little strange, I should say. So this master is saying that the 5.30 train has already left and there was a passenger who dropped you a little girl. So a passenger dropped you a little girl. So she's sitting there on the bench and I asked her to wait near the wait in the ladies waiting room but she said that she preferred to stay outside so she told me that there is more scope for imagination which means that girl loves imagination and this master is saying that she is a little strange i should say okay so this is what the answer given by the master and we'll see what happens next next i'm not exactly expecting a girl said matthew blankly it's a boy i have come for he should be here mrs alexander spencer was to bring him over from nova scotia for him for me so actually matthew cuthbert is saying that i'm not at all expecting a girl it should be a boy i have come here to pick up a boy so mrs alexander spencer she was to bring a boy from nova scotia for me and after hearing this, the station master whistled. Guess there is some mistake, he said. 
Mrs. Spencer came off the train with that girl and gave her into my charge. She said you and your sister were adopting her from an orphanage and that you would be along for her presently. That's all I know about it and I haven't got any more orphans concealed here about. So after hearing this the station master got confused because he got only this information that Mrs Spencer she just came off the train and hand over this girl to to this um, master and she told her told him that Mr Cuthbert Matthew Cuthbert and his sister will be adopting this girl from the orphanage and they would come and pick up this girl this is what the information given to the master so once this uh, Matthew Cuthbert told him that he was about to bring the boy he was about to pick up the boy this master got confused that he doesn't know any more information regarding that i don't understand said matthew helplessly wishing that marila was at hand to cope up with the situation he says that he doesn't understand what's happening and he wishes that his sister would be here with the situation to handle it properly and well you would better question the girl said the station master carelessly and left and what happens later the station master he says that okay better you can ask that girl who is sitting there you can go and ask that girl about the information because i don't know much about it so he just left the station master he just said it carelessly and then left and the unfortunate matthew walked up to the strange orphan girl to demand of her why she wasn't a boy she had been watching him ever since he had passed her and he was spared the ordeal of speaking first for as soon as she couldn't concluded he was coming to her she stood up grasping with one thin brown hand the handle of a shabby old fashioned carpet bag the other she held out to him so this person matthew cuthbert she, he finally decides to go to the girl and ask the information so with the hesitation because he doesn't talk to girls no so with all the hesitation he's just going towards the girl and as soon as the uh, girl sees him coming towards him so she is having one old fashioned carpet bag in her one hand and the other hand she's just um, standing up and giving the other hand to that person that is matthew cuthbert so she just wanted to give a handshake i suppose you are mr matthew cuthbert of green cables she said in a peculiarly clear sweet voice i'm very glad to see you i was beginning to be afraid you weren't coming for me and i was imagining all the things that might have happened to prevent you i had made up my mind that if you didn't come for me tonight I would go down the track to that big wild cherry tree at the bend and climb up into it to stay all night. I wouldn't be a bit afraid and I would be lovely to sleep in a wild cherry tree all white with bloom in the moonshine, don't you think? You could imagine you were dwelling in marble halls, couldn't you? And I was quite sure you would come for me in the morning if you didn't come tonight. this girl after seeing mr matthew cuthbert she's just uh, asking i think you are mr matthew cuthbert of green labels and she is asking in a very clear and sweet voice and she says that i'm very glad to see you and she was actually afraid that this person will not come and she was imagining all other things and she was uh, uh, actually made up her mind that if this person has not come okay if he hasn't turned up she would go to the cherry tree at the bend okay there was a cherry tree and she told him that if you would have not come to pick me up i would have climbed that cherry tree which is just over there and i would have stayed up all night so that was our plan okay if matthew cuthbert was not at all turning up in order to pick up her she thought she just imagined that she would climb into the cherry tree which is over there and she would stay there all night 
and she wouldn't be afraid at all and she would be very happily sleeping in a wild cherry tree with all the white flowers blooming in the moonshine so she is telling all this to uh, mr matthew cuthbert and she says that if you have not turned up today if you have not come to pick up me tonight you would have come the morning okay va well, she says that in the next morning you would have come and picked me up so this is what happening so far and we are stopping up to here okay so i'll just uh, give you a recall so there's mr matthew cuthbert who just travels on his horse in order to pick up someone okay so he's going to the he's reaching the bright river and he sees nobody there he, there's no sign of train and they're also giving him his physical description and he, he couldn't see anybody in the station and he asked the station master about the train and he, the station master replies that the train has already left and you have got a girl okay and he says that he's quite confused because he was expecting to pick up a boy not a girl and the master says that i don't know much about it it was only that lady who handed over this girl and mr matthew uh, says that they actually mrs spencer mrs alexander spencer she was about to get me a boy from nova scotia and this master says that i am not aware of it you can better go to that girl and ask so this girl was just sitting at the extreme end of the station and finally this Uh, Ma- Mr. Matthew Cuthbert he decides to go to her and ask her, and when he went and asked this girl, she was just getting up and she was uh, giving a handshake and she asked whether this person was Mr. Matthew Cuthbert of Green Lab Cables, and she was finally saying that I am very glad to meet you, and I was actually afraid that you would not come to pick. pick me up and if not if you would have not come i would have stayed in the wild cherry tree which is just over there at the bend and i would have stayed all the night and i know that you would have come the next morning in order to pick me up so this is what happening so this matthew cut but he was going to pick up someone he was expecting someone else and unfortunately there was a girl he was actually expecting a boy to pick up from nova scotia and mrs spencer mrs alexander spencer she was about to leave a boy for him so actually they are adopting mr matthew cuthbert and his sister marila they were about to adopt a boy from nova scotia from from an orphanage but unfortunately they could they couldn't go along with that whereas they saw only the girl which is left over in the train station so this is what happening and we'll see what happens next it's so interesting we'll see what happens next okay okay children thank you we'll see in the next class